This is a very rough clip of the installation of my ATAS 120 antenna, which is up there in the mirror, despite being close by other antennas, because unfortunately, um, the only ideal place to put it, which you'll see directly, is up there in the sleeper, but that's fiberglass up there, I'm told, whereas around there is aluminium. The hood or the bonnet is also um, fiberglass. And a bore bar is not an option because of too much vibration. Anyway, you'll see I'm just climbing up here directly, hopefully. Um, I've had to uh, overdub this because the audio was terrible. So you see I'm struggling up here in the truck now with my iPad in my hand. Yeah, hence the poor camera work. Now you see there the mount that I've made, which has a top plate and four rubber uh, shock absorbers essentially, and then a bottom plate. And then you'll see there um, a bit of copper bonding. There's two pieces of it on either side to earth the top and bottom plates together because, of course, the rubber insulates it. Um, the material I had to build it with is very second rate. Um, when I get time, I'll get proper material, and when I do that, I'll do a proper video showing a step by step um, uh, build on the mount. The idea of it is that it's going to act as a shock absorber to take the vibration out and hopefully stop the antenna flogging itself to death. It's most important to have good bonding, as you can see there. Um, and it's usually better to have better steel plate too, but <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Now, the last approximate 30 seconds of this video clip uh, will show three still images of the mount um, from various angles. Uh, two from behind and one from in front, where you will see in these the rubber footings or shock absorbers or whatever you want to call them, as well as the copper bonding strap for earthing. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you like, if that floats your boats, and like or dislike or do whatever you like. Thank you. Cheers.